Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've got lots of beautiful leftover paints. I did a lovely ribbon pour the other day um, in a kind of pastel greens, pastel pinks and blues for the sky. Um, paints have got silicon in and I've just got a little bit left over. So I'm going to do a swipe. I'm going to do a wiggly swipe um, and hopefully get some really beautiful cells. So quite a pastel um, tranquil colour scheme. So let me show you. So these are the colours. Um, can't remember quite what they all are, but this one here is the one um, that was left on my worktop. So it's a combination of all of these other colours um, and I scraped the worktop and this is the colour I got I got left. Um, I think this is a bit of a mixture. Um, I think it's some De La Rani purple. I've got some Amsterdam bronze, Amsterdam king's blue. Um, I think this is Pebio Earth Green and also this one, but with some white and then more white here. Um, Deco Art Steep Sapphire, Pebio Silver, I think Amsterdam Persian Rose and some white. Um, so they're all mixed with PVA glue and water and some coconut hair serum as well for the oil to create the cells. Um, and I'm going to be working on this little canvas, 30 by 30 centimetre canvas in the push pins in the back of the canvas checked its level um, so I'm all ready to go so this is the order there's a lot of colors here and this is the order I'd like to have the to put the colors down in so I've separated the greens I've separated the blues I've separated the pinks um, so this order but not necessarily starting at one end this is my probably my favorite color let me show you the consistency it's slightly runnier than my normal PVA glue mixture um, and it was three parts PVA pouring medium to two parts paint. So, for example, 60 grams of pouring medium, 40 grams of paint. And the pouring medium, PVA glue, two parts P uh, PVA glue, one part water. Right, so I'm going to lay this down in a wiggly line. This is my favourite, so I'm just going to start here with this colour. Um, and I'm going to go across the centre with it. in a nice wiggly line. Not such a smooth wiggly line this time because this cup is so full, I've got less control, but it doesn't matter at all. So at this point, I'm not at all worried that there are gaps in between because I don't want too much paint on here. So if I do gaps, it means I can dab the colours in a minute just to fill in the gaps because I'm not going to tilt this. Right, so all my colours down. I'm just going to add a little bit more paint of certain colours just to try and close up the gaps. Um, I'm not going to add any more of this mixed colour or the blue because I can see that they are runny and they are they are spreading. Um, so just for example, a little bit more bronze or colours that I'd like to be a bit more obvious. So the idea of this swipe is to 
pull the colours across each other. So they'll start to blend. And then when I torch it, I'll be able to get some cells because of the silicon in. So to pull the colours across each other, I'm just using a piece of, it's really flimsy plastic. Um, and I'm going to pull it across, but I'm going to go in wiggly lines. So I'm just going to start in the middle just for the, the sake of starting somewhere. So I'm just touching it on the edge of the colours. And I'm just dragging it across in a wiggly pattern. So what you've got now is these colours have blended beautifully. These colours at the begin, beginning haven't so much. So what I will probably do is then swipe back the other way in a minute. So you can see the oh, very obvious colours here, but not so obvious here because they've really blended here. So what I want to do now is very gently pull it back this way to try and get these to blend a bit more. Right, so it looks a bit strange at the moment, but I'm now going to torch. I've just missed one bit of blue there and a bit of blue there. I'm just wondering whether I will regret it if I don't swipe over that because I'll end up with a, maybe with a dark section of blue. I'm going to just cut off a little tiny piece of plastic. Um, in fact, I'm going to come back the other way. And here. Right, so let's leave it like that and start torching. This is just so pretty. Um, the blue, I was right about that dark blue. It's much more obvious than the other colours. I think it was a bit runnier. Um, so the cells are a bit larger. It's coming through a little bit more. Um, but wow, it's so pretty. So you've got silver right up next to it and the pink. Um, I'm really happy that you can see the waves, but then you've got the cells disrupting the waves. I love the bronze. The bronze peeking through just looks beautiful. It just looks so bright. Oh, look at the different shades of pink and green. Pink and green together are just amazing. Um, often they muddy and make brown, but yeah, I've got them here side by side. Pink, green and white. So pretty. So it does have, apart from that dark blue, it does have quite a nice um, um, sort of pastel -y feel to it. Almost a sort of spring, spring feel to it. Spring colours, spring meadow. Um, really pretty. Um, the edges aren't covered. What I will end up doing, I expect, is painting the edges, maybe creating a border um, on the painting. I'm not quite sure yet, but if this dries well, I'll be so pleased because it's so, so pretty. So it's now dry, but far from finished. Um, I love it. The results are so pretty. Um, the cells are gorgeous. But it's just not enough on its own. It's just, it needs something. I'm going to add to it. I'm going to embellish it. Um, it's really pretty, but just not on its own, not just like this. So um, I said to my children, what do you think? Look at this. What does it remind you of? Um, the two, my two girls both said underwater, coloured coral, mermaid. Um, so I'm going to embellish it with an underwater theme with a mermaid. 
um, and yeah, just enjoy doing and just enjoy doing it. So um, I'm going to use Posca pens. I'm going to use black and grey acrylic paint. I think I'm probably going to do a border um, because the edges, because it's a swipe, I always find my edges just don't really get covered. So I'm going to do a border to cover the edges. Um, so yeah, watch this space. So here is the final result. I'm so happy with it. Um, first of all, the border. I chose a really deep red colour for the border. Um, it was a purpley colour. Um, but then I've accented it with a white um, a white line um, to create almost like a shadow effect. And I've just used a Posca pen for that. I ended up adding, um, can you see there's a bit of depth within the, the reeds here? So there's that's a bit of pearl white and that's a bit of pearl black. So it just gives it a little bit of shimmer. Um, I've added some cute little um, animals, um, some fish, some seahorses, um, and you can see now what I was doing with the the, the greys. So it gives it a sense of depth. So obviously the darker colour looks like it's in the foreground. So this one here, and then the reeds at the edge are in the foreground. So then it goes back. So the mermaid, who is dark in black colour, looks like it's in the foreground. Um, some more seahorses, more fish, um, and just look at the background. It just looks, I think it's the perfect background for this embellishment. It um, definitely looks like ripples of water. There's definitely a magical sense to it. Um, to try and make the mermaid stand out slightly more, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. No, you can't really see it. I used some varnish. I actually used matte varnish, although you would never know because it's so shiny. Ah, oh, can you see it there? I added some what, um, something called ignition dust, which is like a, a sparkle. Can you see it? So she's actually got a bit of glitter on her, um, just to help her to stand out a bit. Um, so it's been fun. It's been it's, it's evolved this painting. Um, I think my children got it spot on though with um, under the sea mermaids. Um, yeah, really happy with the result. So please let me know what you think. 
Um, please hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Do subscribe to my channel. I bring out three videos a week. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this piece. I'd love to know your thoughts. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.